This video is sponsored by Omaze. The M2 MacBook Air is set to go on sale sometime in July, at least according to Apple at WWDC. And with the recent release of the M2 MacBook Pro, we now have a pretty good idea of what we can expect to see, at least in terms of performance. But in this video, I'm gonna go over everything else that you need to know, as well as the performance aspect, about the new M2 MacBook Air. Unfortunately, we do not officially know when the MacBook is supposed to go up for pre-order because Apple only vaguely mentioned that it's just going to go on sale at some point in July. But recent rumors from a retail source tells us that the redesigned MacBook Air with the all-new M2 Apple Silicon chip will be available for customers starting Friday, July 15th. In typical Apple fashion, pre-orders would go up a week early, so that would peg that at July 8th on that Friday probably at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. The new MacBook Air will start at $1199 for the 8-core CPU and GPU option with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. Now you can max this MacBook Air out at about $2499, and that would include 24 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of storage, and an 8-core CPU and a 10-core GPU. The MacBook Air also comes in a couple of new colors, which would be Midnight and Starlight, and then you have your basic Space Gray and Silver. And before we continue with the rest of this video, I do want to quickly throw it over to Dan wearing a microwave t-shirt so that he can tell you a bit more about our sponsor for this video, Omaze. Omaze gives people the chance to dream big and win once-in-a-lifetime prizes, all while helping nonprofits make the world a better place. This time, Omaze has partnered with NFL wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster and the Juju Foundation, which is dedicated to support youth initiatives and lifting the spirits of those in need. Now, if you're a car lover, well, buckle up because this experience is going to be incredible. Omaze is offering the chance to win an unplugged Tesla Model S Apex Plaid which is obviously not a regular Model S, but an upgraded model with tons of customizations and luxurious upgrades from the artisans over at Unplugged. So you get the best of the best Tesla Model S and then more high-end luxury upgrades on top of the ones that are already offered from Tesla. Again, this is a top of the line Model S that can go from zero to 60 in under two seconds. It has 396 miles of range and the upgraded custom interior is absolutely stunning. So click the link in the description down below or head over to www.omaze.com slash MacRumors and be sure to enter for your chance to win this amazing Model S Apex Plaid. And of course, more importantly, support a great cause the Juju Foundation. Thank you, Dan, with really cool shirt. So what makes the MacBook Air new and exciting? Well, it does have a completely new look compared to the last M1 MacBook Air from 2020. The new model features an updated body that does away with the tapered design that the previous MacBook Air used to have for so long. And instead, the MacBook Air now adopts a uniform flat body similar to the new MacBook Pros. The display area was updated to have a more modern look and it now adopts the notch just like the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. So love it or hate it, you are gonna get a notch with this new MacBook Air. Inside that notch area is now a new 1080p FaceTime HD camera, which should pair nicely with four speaker sound system and a three microphone array for your video calls. Oh, also the speakers support spatial audio and wide stereo. There are thinner black bezels that now surround the rest of that updated 13.6 inch liquid retina display that supports 1 billion colors and features 500 nits of brightness, making it 25% brighter than before. There are still only two USB-C ports and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but now we have the reintroduction of MagSafe for the MacBook Air. And so you no longer need to take up one of those two USB-C ports for charging, which is really nice to have with these new MacBook Airs. I also really like the look of this new MacBook Air. Just overall, it's much more modern and in line with the current 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, as we said earlier. And I think the Midnight is probably the best color option, but I haven't seen any of them in person. And of course I would like to see Starlight as well before I make that definitive guess, but I think we're gonna go with the Midnight option for our review. 
You also get your choice of chargers at checkout, which is a little bit different. Um, for this new MacBook Air, you now have the option of a dual USB-C 35 watt power adapter, which is actually already out and you can pick one up now if you'd like separately for $59. For those of you who want fast charging, I would recommend just switching over to the 67 watt USB-C power adapter option instead. The battery on the MacBook Air is rated to last up to 18 hours when watching movies or TV and up to 15 hours when browsing the web. Obviously, the other major change here is the M2 chip. We recently tested out that MacBook Pro with the M2, and so if you wanna see those performance results, you can go ahead and click the link here in the upper right corner. But basically, users can expect to see a moderate increase in performance for the CPU, roughly 18% over the M1, according to Apple, but a pretty good jump in performance with that 10-core GPU option, as Apple states an increase of about 35% over M1. Our test results were a little bit lower than that, but we're running the base model M2 MacBook Pro during those tests, and of course, results are just gonna vary no matter what. I'd recommend at least getting the 16 gigabyte memory option and 512 gigs of internal storage, though if you can swing it, I think one terabyte would probably be best. Uh, when you're configuring this, it just depends on what work you're gonna do with it or your general use case. I'm incredibly excited to get my hands on this machine though, and of course I'd love to know from you if you are planning to pick one up, which config you're gonna get, what color, of course all of that, but I'm looking forward to testing it out in future videos, so please be sure to subscribe, and again, let me know in the comments what you would like to see with those videos, and I'll try my best to cover everything that you all mention. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.